given. It's about these hot dudes that make a band together and want to inspire people with their music and they're also like very gay for each other. Now, let me just jump to what we're all actually thinking. Is this solely made to be consumed by 16 year old girls or is it actually good? Well, you know, I have always thought that this is kind of like the female version of fan service and if that's the case, because I'm not too sure on that, then holy fuck, dude, you women have your shit figured out. Because we dudes are over there in the corner looking at titties and being entertained apparently, but this is nothing like that. We have actual relationships, the characters are complex yet understandable, this is objectively good. Not amazing, but good. The art is charming and detailed, the pacing apart from the start is very impressive actually. We move quickly through the narrative, but nothing feels rushed, the story progresses in meaningful ways, and I'll tell you exactly why after the quirky title drop. I'm a god. Okay, let's go through the ringer here. Does the art look good? Yes. Does it look, I don't know, unique and inspired in any meaningful way? And, and I wanna say no, but it's it's generic. It's generic, but in a very good way. Everything looks exactly how you would imagine it. The manga doesn't catch you by surprise in any situation. It's only on this page. This page was oddly artistic when compared to everything else in the manga. But for the most part, this, this, looks, this looks pretty great. What I found to be actually special in the manga, however, are all of the backgrounds. Because they're clearly just pictures of real places and real buildings, which I'm pretty sure was even set to us in what, like one after page after a chapter. But even in spite of that, they all look great. It's very, very obvious that the manga just, you know, outlined everything and slapped it into the background. But she did that with care, which is almost never the case when a picture is integrated into a manga. In most cases, there is just this weird fucking filter slap on it and it's kind of trying to pass off as an actual background even though it's it's a clearly a real picture and that always feels bad but in here there's a shit ton of care put into tracing these buildings and portraying them in a realistic way it's it's actually great and that goes for the uh care and detail in the manga in general now let me give you an example here there was this extra in a volume where the manga explained how uh, one of our main characters doesn't actually use this guitar pick he uses this guitar pick which is such a small and unnecessary detail but she thinks about that shit and he had enough care and passion to go back and fucking correct and illustrate how the pics actually look and in general shit like that even though this is not connected directly to the art is prevalent in every aspect of the manga and that includes the art and the detail here shows exactly how much the manga cares for her creation and it's it's a it's very very cool to see now with all of that said i have a little complaint about the art which may seem a little weird but hear me out here sometimes the art is a little too good in that first volume, basically everything looks beautiful for no apparent reason. And I'm gonna I'm gonna expand on that a little bit, but I just wanna make a smooth transition to talking about the story because the art kind of supports the narrative and the narrative is what really fucks up this whole thing. Now, before I really expand on the issue, I just really, really wanna drive home. I know I just said it a few seconds ago, but only the first two volumes are like this. Everything else feels great, but for those two volumes, we don't get a goddamn break. It's always action, action, action. Shit is always happening and everything is supposed to be very exciting and nothing ends up exciting. Now, I'm not saying that narrative tension can't be held on for long periods of time. I'm saying that it's not really a smart idea to put that shit at the start of your manga. If this was the end and it's like some dumb shonen and we get like a huge battle and everything is super fucking exciting, that seems understandable. But when every moment from your manga from the start to the end for two fucking volumes is supposed to be very impactful, you just kind of feel numb after a little bit and nothing really hits when it's supposed to because when we see an actual genuinely important and impactful moment when it's surrounded by all of these artificial little scenarios that are all oh, such a big deal that moment in the center of everything it just feels smaller and meaningless almost however after that Holy shit, when the manga starts kind of like mellowing out and we get like a cool ass moment once every few chapters, that shit feels so fucking good, bro. The, the manga really, really picks up in the third volume and uh, it, it was a genuinely a great time. The pacing in here is completely fixed and it's a smooth ride from there. But those two fucking volumes almost killed me, man. Now, I need you to trust me on this when I say that the manga is good and we get some genuinely 
charming and wholesome moments between our dudes and in the context of the world in general. This this is a good story, but it has one other big ass flow that really kind of like rubbed me in the wrong way and that being this very very important event okay actually it's more of a plot point really that uh, helps motivate one of our characters right but that motivation is is kind of feels like a gimmick if i'm being honest and and i feel bad saying this but it it just feels like the manga really needed to i don't know distinct her manga from every other manga about pretty boys in a band so she just kind of like nudge that shit into the story because it doesn't really make sense it's executed in a very bad way after you know the concept of what happened in the past is introduced was i went oh okay this is kind of like interesting but when we actually expand on what happened it feels shallow it feels meaningless it feels wildly unrealistic and i'm not saying that didn't impact our main character no it did in the impact that it left was great but how was that particular event executed was what i'm really trying to say here is bad and can you make excuses like oh they're just high schoolers or oh the fucking the guy was hot-headed or something yes you could make all of those excuses and everything would make sense but it's still kind of bad. I was just gonna move on to the characters, but I just remembered the aspect of the manga that I really, really liked, and it left a huge impression on me, so I'm just gonna tell you that, and then we're gonna move on to the characters. Our dudes write and produce songs, and those songs have, naturally, lyrics to them. However, we never even once see the lyrics, we don't hear the lyrics, they're not written down anywhere, they're just there, and we don't hear them, we don't know them, which I think is such a smart decision. And that's because every song that has been created has been inspired by people, by their relationships by just an outside aspect of the world and that is normally explored in the arc aka at the end of every arc there is a new song and that song and its meaning and its lyric and its in general sound is left up to you the reader you can remember all of these great memories and while the beautiful pages are scrolling by of our dudes playing the instruments and singing you can imagine what it would be like and i'm not saying that the mangaka would have fucked it up if she wrote the lyrics i'm sure they would have been serviceable but I'm sure they don't compare in any way to the vision I had in my head while these pages were scrolling by. It was a great experience, great decision, let's move on to the characters. Basically every character in here and their music and the way they play and how much they enjoy um, playing music and enjoying life in general I guess is tied very very closely to their relationships with other characters. Which makes for such a dynamic setting and complex characters, wow, because we're following everything that's impacting them, it, it still keeps everything understandable and still keeps everything kind of like simple to a certain level and that's great and everything but some characters I, I I don't it's not that I don't like them it's it's the two main characters main main characters and they're I don't know a little too emotional for me personally they're they go through everything they go through all of the motions we uh, observe uh, their uh, separate relationships and everything and in that if everything kind of feels awkward with them, but that's uh, acknowledged by the manga, and that's obviously because the motherfuckers are still in high school, right? Everything there, all of the shit that's happening to them is awkward for a reason, but it still doesn't feel really good, especially when it's contrasted to all of the other relationships in here, which are normally uh, of dudes that are 20 and beyond, and holy shit, that's so well executed. So basically every relationship in here, apart from the main one, is understandable, realistic, reasonable, the characters behave like normal people, and when something impactful happens to them, or, or there's a very very exciting moment or something, it feels that way, because the characters are not always going through shit and haven't figured out themselves yet, no, all of the characters that are kind of like grown up know who they are, they know what they want, and everything feels very satisfying to read. But again, I don't know, is this an actual criticism, or do I just like the characters that are the same age as me, even though, you know, I'm not a hot piece of ass like them, I coincidentally am 20 as well, and it's, I don't know, some of these moments I could genuinely relate to, and it felt great, it was chill as fuck, and all the other characters that are kind of far away from me and my experience in life, I don't know. I just, I just didn't like them that much, which I guess is pretty natural. So in general, when it comes to me giving a score to this manga, I can't help but feel like a little bit of an outsider to this whole deal, since this is the first kind of, I don't know what the genre is called, but you know, gay dudes being gay with each other that I have ever read, and I don't know, I don't have that much of an expertise to really say, I get the feeling, however, that this is probably a highlight in the genre, so if you're into this shit, I, I definitely recommend it, but for a bit of an objective score, 
I don't know. I, I feel like this shit does a few things right and it, there are a few good aspects in here but there aren't enough good aspects. Because recently I talked about almost the same situation in which a manga has many many great aspects but none of them are expanded upon. But that manga had so many great aspects. The, the sheer quantity of aspects that elevated the quality of the manga. But that's not the case here because we have like three good aspects and those being the characters their relationships and music sometimes and while we do understand why the characters function the way that we do we don't really get down uh, to the nitty-gritty of their character why are they to so tormented with everything we maybe dive in a little bit but even that feels shallow and the relationships i don't know we, we never like, truly explore the extent of the, an intimate relationship with another human being or another fucking dude or whatever the fuck we mentioned that they're gay like i don't know in two chapters that's not really explored as well it's everything is there and it's great but it's great on a very surface level so that's why i can't really bring myself to give this like a super high score but i still really enjoyed myself it was a, a great experience and i am giving this bitch a strong very very strong seven yeah you already know the drill here this is a manga club you know the next three videos that i'm gonna be publishing so if any of these three mangas look semi-interesting to you then by all means give them a try maybe a few chapters maybe read the whole manga and anticipate the review that would be pretty cool also social media exists and i post there every other day hyping up the next manga so if you're kind of interested in that if you want some manga shit on your timeline then go follow that shit and that's pretty much it i've been you know trying to diversify what i'm reviewing here i don't want to be stuck reviewing the same three things all over so uh, that's that's why I kind of dove into this and I surprisingly enjoyed myself and it was, it was a cool experience So I'm gonna continue spicing up shit here and there. So uh, <laughs> See you next time. I don't know